Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to do the SSIS package migration. There are multiple ways of doing the same activity. In this video, I'll talk about method one. The first method, how we'll do it. After that, I'll talk about second method, third method. E even I know four methods of migrating the packages. We'll talk about one by one. In the method one, what is the source and what is the target we'll talk about first. When I say source and target, both are SQL servers only. But what is the scenario? Is the version is same or version is different? We'll talk about. So in this scenario, what I'm going to talk about is same version. Okay, so let's take when I say same version, server one, contains so SQL server 2012 or SSIS 2012 or SSIS 2012 okay even server 2 also so I, I need to migrate from server 1 to server 2 again the versions are same in this method I am going to talk about even this also I have different ways of doing it I will cover one by one Okay, in the method one, my scenario is server one of having SQL Server 2012 and SSIS 2012 and server two is also having SQL Server 2012 and SSIS 2012 or the process is same even the version is of 2012 or 2016 or 2014 or 2017. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's make the same way or Okay, you can, you can follow the same. I'm just making uh, 6 or um, 12. You can follow the same. Okay, sorry, 2020, 16, not 62. Okay. So this is my scenario. So even in this scenario also, there are multiple ways, but I'll talk about one way. Okay. Now, the first what I'll do is, first I'll, I'll show you like um, what are the packages I have. Okay. So here, I'm not going to talk about how the package is working, what package is doing, I'm not going to talk about. My concentration here is to do the migration from one server to other server. See, people might question, sir, like when we upgrade into the higher version, so we say it is a migration, but if you are moving between the two servers, we won't call it as migration. But yes, it depends on time on time. Okay, time to time. So here I'm calling as a migration because when we move data um, uh, our package from one server to another server, it's a kind of migration only, even though it is a between, even though you're not going to the different version. Okay. So now let me quickly open uh, what are all the packages I have and what are all the um, uh, systems I have. See, le let me, I, I connected uh, my integration services. Here, if you understand very clearly, my integration services are uh, instances separately hosted on my machine. Okay. So if you see here, this is my integration services uh, engine. Under that, I have a stored package. Under that MSDB, I have uh, two folders, data extracts and data loads. Under, uh, see, I, it depends on the project to project. I have two pro, uh, uh, folders. You can have 10 folders or one folder. It, it's up to you. So under data loads, I have a package of EMPS. Okay, so this is the one package I have for time being. Okay, whatever the process I'm talking, it's the same for every, every package. Okay. So now uh, one package I have. So if you come to the SQL Server agent, so I have a, a job. Okay, I created a job. So the name is uh, MP load and come to the steps. I'm just giving you the uh, overview of it, how the package are linked and all. So then I'll go for a migration. So if you see here, so the job uh, package name is SS package and SS package store and the name of the server is PC is Venkat PC. If you see the integration service instance and that name of the package is uh, EMPS. Okay. So that's how my um, job has been configured. Currently it is disabled. Okay. And even it, it is having a um, schedules as well. So why I'm showing you is when I do the migration, I should get the uh, job with the same properties. That is my intention. Okay. So that's the reason why I'm showing each and everything. I have a, a job of schedule with 7 a.m. Okay. Now, so then what is the first step I need to do it? Okay. And what is the uh, um, process of doing it? So I, I told you once in, this is my requirement, then how do you handle it? Okay. So in this video, I'm going to handle in a very easier manner. Okay. In the next uh, 
a session I'm, I might talk about a bit complex way as well. So what I'll do is first, okay, a very easiest way, take a backup of, since if you understand very clearly, all the packages are there in a MSDB folder. Okay, so take a backup of MSDB database. Okay, so once uh, uh, backup is over, okay, so then, so take this, take this backup and restore. I'll tell you what is a, a problem when you try to restore it. Restore this backup in server 2. But before, before restoring, since, before restoring, since jobs are running, okay? So jobs is nothing but agent is running. So agent is indirectly tied to the MSDB only. So you need to stop the agent before. So before restoring, so stop the before restore, I'm just talking um, before uh, restore, stop um, agent. Okay, so then only restore works, otherwise it won't work anyway. Anyway, even though if you try, restoration won't work at all. So once the restoration is done, then, so update, I'll tell you update, so package location. I'll tell you what is the easiest way to do it. Let's keep this point um, away for time being. I'll explain whenever time comes, okay? So that's what, now let's do these two activities first, then we'll go for third activity. Easily I'll talk about it. Okay, let's quickly take a backup of it. Okay, so MSDB task, probably you know how to take a backup and all, I don't need to talk much here. Okay, um, uh, let me add a folder where I can, um, that's even fine, this folder also I'm okay, but it's not allowing to take a backup. I Okay, I'm okay with the same folder. Okay, so let's take a backup. Yeah, it's done. Since it is a very easy, uh, very, um, yeah, come here. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm the admin. So let's come here. Yeah, backup is ready. Okay, so once the backup is ready, since I'm telling you uh, backup is ready. So then what I have to do? You have to restore this backup in server too. But unfortunately, I have only one server with me. Okay, I have a two instance of SQL Server on my same machine, but the instance one is 2012, instance two is 2016. I'll talk about that time. I can show you easily, but unfortunately I have only one instance. Again, I'll restore in the same server one. Okay, but I'll tell you how to do this as well. Okay, so restore again there. So let me do the restore. Before restoration, I told you to stop this agent. Stop. Otherwise it won't work. See the process I'm telling you, the process is same even though you restore in the same agent, or same instance or a different instance. Okay, let's quickly just refresh once. Okay, so now let's just expand this, uh, expand this and MSDB restore. Okay, so device, sorry, database. Click on here, click here. Yeah, it is here. So currently, I even I took the backup there only. Let's click OK. Select OK. Yes, it is ready. Files is OK. The same location, I'm fine. Uh, override the existing database. Close the existing connections if there are any. Click OK. So restoration is happening here. You can see 100% almost done. Yes, it's done. Right, done. Restoration is done. Then quickly, let's start the agent now. Why I stopped is otherwise, don't allow you to restore let's quickly start it so once you start it okay so assume it ideally so i assume it so i i restored the same database in the server 2 so if you see you will be getting server 2 let me go to the jobs under the jobs the location you might be getting even though i i restored right you can see the same schedule is there you can come here so ideally you will be getting uh, old server name server one here but you restore in the server two but you will be getting server one here so then how to update it so you can simply make it as a server one here if you have only one or two jobs that 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 works otherwise if you have a thousand jobs you cannot go to each and every job and you cannot um, uh, modify that 
okay then what you have to do is first of all where are all the packages are packages just locations are residing so if you see in msdb so you have one um uh sys job steps let me sys job steps yeah if you see here you have m table where you can see the list of jobs along with their steps okay the name of the step name is emps so how it is tied to the job we'll talk about that later so even sub system type is ssis and uh, step name is this and you can see command is this okay so now what i'll do is i'll 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 take only the packages which are there in the job uh, steps so that time i what i'll do is sub system equal to ssis okay obviously yes, i'll be getting only one so then and also i can see that wherever the location is server 1 i can make it as a command so you can see the command command like uh, i can make it as a wink typhon uh, pc obviously yes i'll get again one record so then how to replace this venkat pc with a new pc name new server name okay so i'll talk about it okay so let's first of all let me make it as i'll use is a replace keyword comma or i'll remove this command first command comma replace sql uh, keyword command comma so what do you want to replace i want to replace venkat pc with them comma raj pc sorry raj iphone pc i am going to make it as a new command okay so let's run this okay if you see this you got a new name but you need to update this then only it points to the correct location so let me update it update I, i'll write update command probably you know how to write update commands in the same way update uh, set so command equal to this command i'll show you either raj pc is updating in the job or not wait for a moment please bear with me okay so now let's run this so better to use a transactions so unknowingly if it is updated to the other side as well you need to struggle okay so let's take it as a begin run jobs okay later i'll do the commit how many records have one records affected so i make it as commit tran js let's run this ideally raj pc is not there in my network because my uh, laptop is a individual uh, uh, pc now let's come here is it updated to raj pc come here it won't fail while updating but when i try to run it it fails now you can see it now assume it my all packages are pointed to raj pc i need to point it to my venkat pc because the current server is venkat pc now i can write uh, like this so to run actually because of this okay now let me revert this okay in one shot sorry command like raj pc not venkat pc because venkat pc already updated okay so done so now if you really observe very closely my migration is completed without any issues with a easy way so that's how we do the migration of packages from one server to another server with the easiest approach in the next video we'll talk about the other approaches there are multiple approaches as i mentioned even i know four approaches we'll talk about one by one so that's all about it in the approach one we'll talk about other approaches in the next video so please subscribe for more technical videos also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you thank you for watching